Warning, if you are against the consumptive use and the ethical harvest of fur-bearing animals, please leave this channel now. This is no place for pansies, sissies, or crybabies. Hey trappers, Dale Billingsley here, Billingsley Brand Lures. Guys, what I want to talk to you about today is uh, something I feel is very important. It's becoming more and more relevant to us as we go along here, especially with some new and young trappers. And that is the way we present ourselves and the words that we use when we're, when we're talking about trapping. Okay, um, there was an issue here recently, uh, a podcast that came up. The guy doing the podcast, the guy running the podcast, had about five or six years of trapping experience. The guy that he was interviewing only had about five or six years of trapping experience. And some of the wordage that was used, and I, and I honestly don't believe there was anything malicious behind it in the, in the beginning. I think it was just more of a, hey, look at me kind of thing. Um, but some of the wording that was used in that video was very detrimental to trapping. Okay, and I, I see this quite often, not just in that video, but in some other places too. Um, guys, we've really got to tighten up because we're, we're the most scrutinized, most uh, looked upon sportsman's group that's out there. Okay, when people hear the word trap, they automatically, and I mean automatically, think of a great big trap with teeth, cartoony looking thing, you know, something they've seen on television that is in no way, shape, or form anything that we ever use, especially in this day and age, okay? So we've got to start using our heads a little bit, and we've got to start using some, of the, some different wordage in here, you know, the state of Colorado lost their trapping rights a few years ago. Well, it's been several now, but but it all came down to the wording that was in the bill. All right, that's what it came down to. That's the reason they lost. It wasn't, you know, it didn't have much, well that, and then you've got when you've got cityets that don't know any better, such as out of Denver and out of out of Colorado Springs and, and Aspen, when they're allowed to vote on a wildlife issue, it's never going to be a good thing. Okay, uh, we saw this in Arizona. We saw it in New Mexico as well. When when you put when you put a wildlife issue up to the ballot box or when it's in the judicial system, it's never going to end very well for you. I shouldn't say never, but it's more than likely it's not going to come out in our favor because people put their feelings involved in it that have no skin in the game. Okay, so we've you know we've got to start doing better. And, and myself included, I'm, I'm just as guilty as anybody. Um, instead of using the word leg hold trap, we need to be using the word foot hold trap or paw gripper, something of that sort. Because the trap doesn't actually hold the leg, it holds the paw. So we've got to start doing better there. Um, as far as talking about humane and inhumane, um, you know, we've got to start tightening up there as well. Uh, Things have just, we've got to change the things that we're doing, the things that we're saying, and how we're wording them. Um, you know, for instance, there was a piece in this podcast where, the, where the, the fellow that was being interviewed said that we murder animals. Guys, I've never murdered an animal before. My, I've never murdered anything. I've harvested them. I have collected them. I have, I have even killed them. But I've never once in my life murdered anything. You know, so it's just little things like this that we have to watch and we have to look out for. Um, you know, and, and and this guy went as far as to actually siding with the antis. Uh, There's a, a snaring propaganda video out, and this guy said that he agreed with everything that was saying. Come on, I mean, are are you with us or are you against us? You know, and, and saying about how how inhumane snaring is. And we wish that somebody would come out with a humane type snare. Are you kidding me? How much more humane can a snare be? So these are these are things that we've got to start paying attention to. And, and another thing, guys, when you're confronted by a true blue anti, I mean, they're anti through and through, do not, and I'm guilty of this myself, I'm 
very guilty of it. Do not argue with them because you're not going to change their mind, okay? The best thing to do is just turn around, walk away, let them think what they want, let them, let them just leave them alone, let them be. You're not going to change their mind. The people we need to, to concentrate on are the, are the people that are on the fence, okay? The ones that are, eh, I don't know, maybe, you know, those are the people that we can, we can educate and we can sway to our side. If we go about it the right way, um, this is this is just something I wanted to touch on a little bit, guys. I don't want to go too in depth in it, but I think it's something that needs to be addressed in each and every one of us. And if you're not well enough versed, if you don't have enough years behind you to speak about it, please don't. Okay, find somebody who can. Go get a friend. Go get. A neighbor whoever's been trapping longer than you and I don't mean by just a year or two I mean has some miles and some and some boot leather on the ground kind of guy who is more well versed in it then get them to speak okay on your behalf it's a whole lot better deal stand there and listen to what they have to say and how they say it okay that's a, that's a very important thing. Don't just go in there blind and try to go back and try to go to battle with somebody because it's not going to work and it's not going to end in your favor at all, especially if they're more well versed than what you are. So, guys, this is just something I had to get out there. I had to get off my chest. I appreciate y'all tuning in to watch. And if you would please just hit that thumbs up for me, that's all I'm asking. Once again, this is Dale Billingsley with another one. Signing out.